Over time, any moving part on a machine is susceptible to damage and wear. Power hammers are no exception to that rule. In fact, a machine that hammers as its function can prove to be a particular challenge. With years of experience and thousands of hammers behind us, we have learned that simplicity and redundancy are paramount in the world of forging hammers. Nevertheless, machines do break and over time fall out of adjustment. On our hammers, there are only a handful of moving parts and today we will talk about the mini valve that interacts with the head and how to tell if it needs to be adjusted or replaced. On our hammers, these small valves work to set the top and bottom delta of the stroke of the hammerhead. The roller on the end of the arm gives a crisp change in the state of the valve as the hammer raises and lowers. Long before this valve fails, it can fall out of adjustment, and just because it is out of adjustment doesn't mean it needs to be replaced. If you notice your hammer topping out easily, running separately, or even locking in the up position, it may be time to adjust your mini valve. To start with, you should block up the head of your hammer so that more of the sides of the head are exposed. This will help you to get an easy reading of where the mini valve should be. It is also a good practice not to work on your hammer while it is on, so by placing a block of wood between the dies and shutting down the hammer, you help to limit the risk of an accident. For this adjustment, you will need a straight edge, a 5 30 seconds Allen key, and a 3 8 inch box end wrench. We also suggest you use a rubber band and a small rectangular magnet, but these are only to make the process easier. To make the adjustment, you simply pull the slack out of the mini valve with the rubber band. It is important that the arm be tight against the valve that it actuates without actually pushing it in. The light pressure from the rubber band is perfect for this. Next, place the straight edge against the side flat off the hammer head and lock it against the head with the magnet. At this point, you should be able to observe the location of the center of the wheel on the mini valve. It should be directly in line with the straight edge of the ruler. If it is, then your mini valve is adjusted correctly. If it is not, then loosen the two bolts that hold the body of the valve in place and reposition it so that the arm is in the correct spot. Then tighten the bolts back down. There is no torque specification on the bolts for these valves and they do not require Loctite. Once the adjustment is made, remove your tools and start up the hammer. Your hammer should be back in good working order. If you continue to have problems, check in the description for other videos that are related to tuning and repair. Thanks for watching and subscribe to keep up with what is new with Blue.